Hello, thank you so much for joining me in this course. I am Thermes Borucia, working as a technical architect in IT industries for around 16 years, mainly in Microsoft technologies. In this section of course, we are going to explore Azure DevOps, everything you need to know to understand Azure DevOps based on the role you are playing. If you are from management background and not playing technical role, then you just need to learn Azure boards. Technical architect, development and testing teams should learn all the Azure DevOps offering and further drill down as per the need. I will go and assume that you have no prior Azure DevOps knowledge, so don't worry if you have never logged in in dev.azure.com. I am going to make as easy as possible for you. In this session, I am going to start with Azure DevOps overview, high level overview of Azure DevOps services, mapping application lifecycle with Azure DevOps. Then we shall learn every single services provided by Azure DevOps in detail, which includes Azure boards, Azure repos, Azure pipeline, Azure test plan, and Azure Artifacts. So let's go ahead and get started. Azure DevOps is a software as a services platform from Microsoft. We can use Azure DevOps to implement DevOps lifecycle in a business. Azure DevOps services support application teams to plan work, collaborate on code deployment, and build and deploy the applications. Before we look at Azure DevOps services, let me quickly walk through high level development lifecycle of any project. First, you have to plan, then develop, build, package, testing, and deploy. Let's quickly look all the services. First service we have in the list is Azure Pods. It supports planning and tracking work, code defect, and issues using Kanban and Scrum method. Then we have Azure Repos, which is source code repository supports various source control systems like TFEC, Git, and GitHub. Then we have Azure Pipeline, provides build and deploy services to support continued integration and continued delivery of your application. Then we have Azure Test Plan, which provides several tools to test your applications, including manual testing and automated testing. The last we have Azure Artifacts. It allows team to share Maven, NPM, and NuGet packages from public and private sources and integrate package sharing into your CI/CD pipeline. Before we begin to understand all these services in detail, let's look how you can manage your application lifecycle using Azure DevOps. Here we shall talk which Azure DevOps services we should be using during different application phases. At the project initiation stage, business will identify problem or opportunity and share the requirement. Product owner identify the scope and deliverable and when the project get approved, team are built and large project broken down with smaller goals with epic feature and user stories in Azure boards. Parallel test team also start test planning based on the acceptance criteria of user stories. Product owner explain all the requirement to the team and initiate the sprint. Developers start picking the user story from the backlog and implement the task. Once developer complete the development of task, they create a pull request and send code for the review. And once it get approved, developer commit the code in Azure repos. Build trigger in the pipeline once code get committed in Azure repos. During the continue integration, build get latest code from Azure repos and restore private public packages from the feed setup in Azure artifacts. It also run unit test, generate code coverage and code complexity report. On the successful build, output deploy to the targeted environment. Once the build deploy in testing environment, testing team start doing the testing by executing test plan manually or automated. The defects get logged in Azure boards by creating a new bug, issue or observation. Developer pick and fix this defect and commit to the Azure repos to trigger CI/CD pipeline. Once the testing team provide the sign off, build get promoted to U8 environment for the business users to test the functionality. Business users start verifying all the functionality plan for the current sprint in UAT environment and if they find any defect then they log all the defect in Azure boards. If the business users are satisfied with all the functionality and build quality, then the build get promoted to the production environment for end user. If any issue get reported in production environment, then those defect get logged in the Azure board for the fixes. During the entire process, 
customer and stakeholder can get real time insight of the projects such as team velocity, CICD result, dependency, defect race versus sol by creating executive overview dashboard which is inbuilt capability in Azure DevOps. Now you understand where Azure DevOps services can be used during application lifecycle. Before we log in into Azure DevOps, it is important to understand Azure DevOps benefit. In Azure Boards web service, team can manage their work with transparency across the project. It provides rich set of inbuilt capability to support Scrum and Kanban customizable dashboard and integrated with reporting, where team can easily start tracking user stories, backlog item, task, feature, and bugs associated with the project. Azure Repos is a cloud-based source repository tools to support source control system like Git, TFVC, and GitHub to manage code, which allows team to share code and collaborate using various tools like Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code. Azure Pipeline cloud-based service is used to automatically build and test project code, which supports wide range of different application languages and project types. Artifacts are integrated with various package management services used in Azure Pipeline during continued integration and continued delivery. Azure Test Plan provides all the tools needed to successfully test applications. Can create and run manual test plans, generate automated tests, and configure automatic workflow for automated testing. While deploying the code using CICD Pipeline, it can test, build, and shipped to any targeted cloud provider on click of the buttons. It also supports infrastructure as a code to automatically provision the infrastructure that required for the application using templates like Azure Resource Manager, Terraform to spin up multiple cloud environment very quickly.